Boom, guys, welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a video on Google Maps guys. Uh, already we have seen how to bring in Google Maps inside your Flutter applications and then uh, we also saw how to place pull markers from a Firestore collection and then place them on your map, multiple markers on your map. We also saw how to uh, do cool effects with the camera position uh, after placing those markers as well, right? So if you hadn't watched those three videos already, I'll add a link in the description to all those three videos. Uh, though it's not necessary, I would highly recommend you guys to watch that one since I'll be covering most of the basics in that, uh, in those particular videos. Uh, in this video, let's see how to uh, do a location-based filtering. A lot of people have been asking me this. Say for instance, I am uh, at a particular city and I want to see all the locations, I mean, uh, all the restaurants uh, that are located two kilometers from my current location, within two miles from my current location or within two kilometers of my current location. Or say, for instance, uh, I'm located in a particular city and I want to see all the hospitals located within five miles from my current location. So uh, in order to do that, you would need to do some uh, location-based distance filtering, right? So uh, a lot of people were asking me how to do that uh, in Google Maps and in Flutter especially. Uh, so in this video, we'll see how to do that. Okay. Uh, before we begin, this is the code that we have from our previous video. For those of you guys who don't have this code, there is a copy available in uh, my GitHub profile, uh, namely Flutter Google Maps Geolocation, this one. I leave a link to this in the description section as well. Kindly grab a clone this particular repo from here. And then I have given some specific instructions on uh, how to make this work as well. Uh, once you clone this rep repository, you need to place your Google services.json from your Firebase. I mean, add this app to your Firebase project and then uh, place your Google services.json file inside your app directory. Uh, to get more details on this, kindly watch the uh, video, bringing Google Maps into your Flutter applications. Watch this video once. Okay. Uh, though this is not necessary i recommend you guys to watch this once as well uh, geolocation plotting markers since this would obviously result in this particular screen wait i'll uh, put up my i mean i'll throw up my mobile screen on the uh, video as well yeah this is the one so this uh, upon running this application you will be uh, seeing the screen and so far we just have a, uh, a list of markers that we have pulled from our firestore collection over here we have five markers and we have five markers here, right? And tapping on something will be taken. I, I tapped on Walmart. So this is the Walmart marker. I can obviously rotate uh, my view and I also can hit the reset button just to reset the view back to the original uh, point of view, right? So this is what we have so far and you'll get all these when you clone this particular repository and add this uh, project as your uh, as a, inside your Firebase app and get the Google services.json file and place it in your uh, app directory inside the Android directory of your project. Cool. Now let's see how to do a distance based filtering. So first to do a distance based filtering, we need to calculate the distance from a particular lo location and the uh, other markers uh, nearby, right? Other markers in the map, right? So uh, uh, let's say for instance, I want to uh, get all the markers within five uh, kilometers or two kilometers from my current location. So I need to input that particular distance inside the uh, application, right? Let's write code for that uh, first. What I'll do is I'll add a dialog, an alert dialog maybe, and then I'll get the uh, value from the user itself. So let me get into the build function. Yeah, here it is. And uh, inside the app bar, I'll add an icon button. and uh, go ahead and write the dialog that I'll be showing. In case you haven't watched already, my previous video was uh, on how to create stylish dialogs for your Flutter applications. So yeah, you can watch that as well if you want to make your dialogs look stylish in your Flutter applications. Uh, as usual, we have already discussed a lot on uh, bringing in dialogs in your Flutter applications, right? Boolean show alert or rather than showing you saying like this, I'll get uh, distance, okay. Sorry. And inside this I'll return a show dialog. 
inside this uh, context context uh, barrier dismissible uh, to builder builder context uh, return alert dialog inside this uh, i'll add a title uh, title text enter distance and uh, content padding which insets dot all some 10.0 and uh, content will be nothing but a sorry text field i would need a variable right so i'll get over here Now we have a, a dialog that will uh, get the that we can use to get the uh, distance value from the user. Uh, sorry, I didn't uh, include a, um, after this on changed. I'll include a actions a actions oh, text input. Inside this, I'll have a flat button. Cool. Now uh, I have a dialog, and uh, after entering a value, I can simply press the ok button and it will call the filter markers function that will uh, fill do the filtering for us okay so now that this is available the get distance we can simply make go ahead and call here right where is it here instead of the on pressed we can simply do get list fine now I have a uh, icon on the app bar upon tapping that I'll be shown an alert dialog inside which I can uh, enter a distance value and then upon tapping the OK button uh, it will do nothing but call a function call filter markers and it will also dismiss the it will also dismiss the uh, dialog filter markers okay uh, now that we have the distance we can simply make use of the uh, geolocator plugin itself to calculate the distance so how exactly are we going to do that let's see we'll do a for loop okay since we already have all the markers in the uh, wait i'll show you we already have all the markers over here right in the inside the uh, clients list public clients inside the clients list we already have the set of markers all we need to do is calculate the distance between uh, the user's current location and all those markers and then simply return a list containing the uh, and simply uh, place markers on the map for only the uh, locations that satisfy the criteria so what i'll do is i'll sorry i'll get over here and do a for loop for int i equals zero i less than uh, client dot length plus plus i fine this is clients right yeah uh, then what 
what we'll do is uh, geolocator geolocator dot geolocator dot uh, distance between distance between you need to provide the start latitude start for uh, when you are doing this in uh, for your real application you will be entering latitude and longitude coordinates that are returned from the uh, geolocation position okay you should you should use geolocator to get the current location of the device and then use those coordinates here if you don't know how to do that i already made made a video on uh, doing geolocation inside your google maps as well i'll leave a link to that in the description as well kindly uh, watch it once for now what i'll do is i'll simply make use of new york's latitude and longitude coordinates you understand what's happening here right uh, we already have in our uh, firestore collection the location is a geo point so if i can simply do a location dot latitude and location dot longitude uh, based on that particular marker uh, now that i have the distance i can simply do a wait then uh, i'll have the uh, calculated uh, distance now i can make use of this this will be returned in meters guys okay so what i'll do is first i'll convert that into kilometers and then uh, if distance sorry not this calculated distance uh, by thousand uh, by thousand less than uh, double double dot parts uh, distance if this is true then what i'll do is i'll place filtered marker and inside this i'll send the client of i sorry clients of i comma uh, uh, calculated distance divided by thousand Now all I need to do is uh, write another function for placing the filtered marker. So place filtered marker. Uh, this will receive a client as well as the distance. And uh, I can simply go ahead and uh, map controller once again. Similarly, what we did for the init marker, map controller dot uh, clear markers dot then map controller dot add marker marker options draggable false position uh, we need a lat long coordinate lat long fine and uh, We'll also include a info window text. Info window text will be info uh, window text client of client name. For this snippet, I'll simply do uh, distance dot to stream. Cool. Now uh, this will place the filtered marker on the screen. So whenever you enter a distance uh, and then uh, you know like click on OK button, it'll automatically filter the markers based on the entered distance. Let's see this in action on our mobile device now. I'll save this. It should hot reload. Yeah, I did that. Uh, now let me zoom in a little. Fine. Now we have five markers. I'll click on the uh, actions button on the app bar. You can see it. See this, right? I'll tap on that. It's asking me to enter the distance. I'll enter it as uh, two, maybe two. Okay. So uh, from my current location, which is New York, I should be able to see all those locations that are uh, within a uh, two kilometer uh, radius. Wait uh, to just to ensure that. Uh, I'll print the distance as well. Print cal dist by uh, thousand. Okay, this will print the distance in 
kilometers for us in got hot reloader i'll tap this enter to now if i tap on okay watch what happens i get only two markers right now if you notice here these are the distances between our current location that is new york and the uh, markers this is on new york itself so it's showing 0.0, .0. Uh, the remaining four markers among these less than two would be uh, this one 1.43 and uh, this one 0.0 .0. Uh, these three won't be visible as you can see here only those two are visible now right if i tap on one of them you can see that uh, adidas 1.43 this is the one this marker and this one is the 0.0, .0 probably nike it is showing 0.0, .0 since uh, where is it I gave the exact coordinates 40.7128 and 74.0 that's the exact coordinates of uh, New York right that's the reason why it's showing 0, 0.0 otherwise it would also show some uh, distance okay don't think that's an error or something now let me change the value let me change it to 3 uh, if I change it to uh, I'll change it to 5 okay if I change it to 5 miles I should get this marker I should get this marker I should get this one and this one four markers right so I'll just change it to 5 and if I uh, tap on OK, see, I get all the four markers. This is 3.97 uh, something. This is 2.92. This is 1.43 and this is 0, 0.0. All of which are less than five kilometers. So uh, uh, if I enter six, then all should be visible since all these markers are less than six kilometers, right? So if I just tap OK, all the uh, five markers are now visible so uh, basically now we have done uh, distance filtering successfully right see four uh, markers four locations that are less than uh, four kilometers radius from the current location so yeah this is how you guys do uh, distance based filtering in your uh, google maps in your filter applications guys uh, this all these work fine as well uh, we saw these in the previous video itself right so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today this is how this is a simple way of doing uh, distance based uh, i mean filtering distance based filtering based on your location so yeah uh, if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button if you like what i'm doing on this channel uh, and if you would like to watch more content on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and support me guys uh, and also click on the bell notifications icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will receive some uh, notification just hit the subscribe button uh, yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye